Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous episode, we learned about how to do the search query with load more. So I can type um, hello, I can do a search, I can type another query, I can do load more on the search page. In this uh, video, we're going to continue with our functionality and we're going to add a loader and also do an error handling. All right, so let's do that. Now for the loader, I'm going to save some time and uh, copy paste the code for the loader. I'll just go to source components and then create a directory called loading. And then inside of this, I will create index.js and paste this code. If you want to get this code, you can get it from by going on to Imran H. Sayed and github.com slash Imran H. Sayed and then just go to Next.js Headless WordPress. Go to the branch feature YouTube tutorial and then inside of the front end, inside of source and then components, you should be able to get that. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to save the time on writing all of this code because this is pretty simple. Uh, I will invest more time in explaining to you the, the main functionalities. Okay. So this loading component is basically uh, going to take certain parameters like message classes, show spinner, show message and visible. And then if the visible is set to false, then it's going to be invisible. And that's what we are setting that by default. And then if not, then it's going to be visible. This has, and this has a div, right? And then it has SVG inside of it. If you pass show spinner equals true, then it's going to show that spinner. And by default, show spinner is false. Okay. And then if you set show message to true, then it's going to show the message. Otherwise not uh, show message is true by default. Okay. So we've got the loading. Uh, let's go back onto our search page and I'm going to go ahead and add the loading just above this and I'm going to say loading and it's going to take certain parameters show a spinner will be yes so it'll be true classes so classes is going to be max width excel mx auto and then negative margin of eight so it's going to be all right so that's going to be classes and then text and then it's going to be what will be the visible value so if you remember that this query that we are making already has the loading available so i'm just going to pass that so if the loading is true then it's going to be visible otherwise not so okay so you got loading and then we want the error message as well same thing for error message. I'm just going to create a component inside here and I'm going to create a directory called error. And then inside of this, I will create a file called index.js and paste it. Uh, again, you can get the code from the repository uh, over here. We're just checking if the text is empty, then return null. Otherwise, just return the um, div with some with the text inside of it and that's ex that's what's happening here all right so i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to put the error component so I'll say error not this error actually error message so it's pull the uh, error from the next js actually which so the text inside of it is going to be the search error so remember that at multiple places we are setting the search error like this right we're setting an empty then we're setting a value so we're just going to use that search error value from here okay and the next one is classes classes and i'm just going to paste some classes over here so we've got loading, we've got error message. Finally, we require the result info. Okay. We're going to add that as well. Inside of the search component, 
we're going to create a file we'll call it result info .js. and I'm going to paste the code here uh, again this is a component result info takes total post result count uh, it takes show result info yes or no and then it takes class names and then we also need to display the result information like uh, how many results are available etc so for that I'm going to create a function and we'll call it as get singular or plural and singular or plural text because sometimes if the count of the post is one we want to say it result but if the count of post is greater than one then we want to say it posts or results right so I'm going to go to the utils and inside of utils We'll go over to the miscellaneous and I'm going to paste this function here. This function basically all it does is it takes the count, takes the text and in case if the count is greater than one, then it's just going to append S to it. Okay. So you already pulled that here and the result text will be total count, which is let's say two posts gets the value, uh, whatever you pass. So two results found, right? And then in case if the result is zero, then it's going to get, uh, is going to display, please try another search. Okay. That's all that's happening here. And it's going to be invisible uh, in case if show result info is false. Now you must be wondering why is it that I'm setting this as invisible and not display none or why even I'm even rendering, why I'm even rendering this component. Why, why is it invisible? The reason for this is because invisible is going to uh, reserve the space for us. Uh, so there's no content shift or content jump. So the space for this result info and all is going to be already uh, resolved, already reserved. Okay. So now if I go ahead and type hi, what? So now we're going to go to search and we're going to add the result info and inside this result info we're going to pass show show result info and that will be equal to show result info because remember that we're already setting that information in case if the user sets user goes ahead and submits the form we are setting it initially to false and then once the posts are available then we are setting it to true because that's when we want to show how many results are available not before that right so that's why we are passing that information here show result info and um, we also want to know uh, what's the total post count so i'm going to take that here so total post result count will be equal to query result post so whatever we are putting inside so this data dot post is going to be set inside of the query result post which is here and inside of query result post we're going to have page info so take a look here so inside of posts we are going to have page info dot offset pagination dot total right so that's going to give me the uh, value of the total post result count and that's what I'm going to pass here, right? So I'll say total post result count equals this, right? Awesome. So let's go back. And if I say hi, there you go. It says loading. And then you've got the 51 result found. Isn't that brilliant? Take an inspect element. And you can see that 51 result found. And that's actually coming from the result info so if you go to result info it's basically the same thing text center text large that's the same one result text will be equal to total post result count which is 51 we call this function which kind of appended s after a result so made it results and then found right awesome and then if i search something gibberish like so now zero result found Please try another search. So zero result found. And then it says, please, please try another search. Why? Because I'm saying that if the count equals zero, then just add that text. All right. That's what's happening. 
React is beautiful. I mean, I absolutely love it. There's so much you can do by, with state, which was which is possible with native JavaScript, but then it's just that, uh, you know, you have to write more code for that. All right, so there you go. I think you just need to change this class. This is going to be MX Auto. And then text center. Okay, now take a look. Hi. There you go. This is beautiful. This is good. So now we have the loader, beautiful loader. Hello. There you go. One result found. Awesome. Perfect. And now if you don't type anything and if you hit enter, there you go. You've got the error as well, which is brilliant. So now that's coming from your error message, right? It's got a text search error. Perfect. Now in the next video, what we're going to do is we'll create the uh, component over here, uh, which will be the same component. We'll reuse the same component, but it will show in the nav bar. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do start my depository. My depository address is next year's headless WordPress. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And thanks to all the beautiful 792 people who have followed me. And please do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.